pretty close to Nazi is definitely going to be your 2023 world champion. But however, she's still chasing records. She's trying to break an NFR average record. But there could be a twist in the mix because Cassie Mallory, she's really kind of gaining a lot of ground in that average race. She's less than three tenths behind Brittany Posey Tanazi, which is the difference in their run from last night in round nine. So we might be chasing a lot of records, and we might have a mix-up in the average race. Yeah, you see Lisa Lockhart, she set the new WPRA earnings record, 3.4 million. Brittany Posey Tanazi, 432,000. Is she gonna get above a half a million dollars here uh, tonight? And I think the chances are pretty darn good. She holds that spot in the average. She's gonna shoot past 500,000, and, uh, and what a back half to the the 2023 rodeo regular season that she had. She just took those two horses and just conquered the world. Now keep in mind, they will stay in the order that they've been going through here. So we'll see Brittany 13th out of 15. Stacey Matthews will start. Lisa Lockhart in a good spot. Cassie Mallory. Sissy and Stevie are back back 13, again. 30, yep, and Lisa 30, Lockhart is number two. So, uh, she might win three rounds in a row here, Jenny, just to wrap this thing up. Yeah, it's definitely possible. If Cassie Mallory can be less than three tenths faster than Brittany Posey Tanazi, she might surpass her and also break an NFR average record. So a lot on the line, but it's going to be exciting to watch. The ground has been fantastic since round one. They've gotten it really fixed, and it's nice and fast. There's a lot of horsepower. Stacey Matthews, she's getting set. Her very first trip to the NFR. A great horse got her right before here, so she's happy to ride this young five-year-old she called Stoli. This little horse is super fast, though. This that's, might be their night. That's tough, though, game changer. You have a horse that's you know, heralded by the AQHA and the WPRA as the horse of the year, and don't even get a chance to show them off at the National Finals Rodeo. The best thing about it is Stacey Matthews. She has a long and successful barrel racing career ahead of her. And look at that first barrel. And oh. Stoli just didn't want to get over for that second. I have never seen that happen before. Look out for Tacey Matthews. Broken pattern, no time for her. There's Lisa Lockhart as she gets set. She's won 99,000 um, over the first nine rounds. She's sitting number four in the average. That's about 37,000 if she can hold that spot or move up. And of course, uh, winning 30,000 is not out of the question either. So uh, we watched her win round three with a time of 13.51. All right, Lisa, here we go. Can she win round 10? How incredible has Lisa Lockhart been? 17 trips to the NFR. She's the all-time money earner in the WPRA. And for great reason, she makes the same run all 17 years here at the NFR. And Levy, he is so solid. She's such a horse woman. Come on. It's going to be fast. They're bringing 54. You bet it's fast. And she made it through without a single barrel knockover. They just keep getting better and better. And here comes Cassie Mallory. 13.30 in round eight. She won the round 13.37 last night to win the round. Boy, and out third on the dirt here, so brace yourself. This could be something spectacular. Yeah, guys, I think this team still has even more to give. He's one of the greatest maturity horses of all time. This is Jarvis with the greatest maturity trainer, greatest barrel racer of all time. And wow, they are off to a run. Quick, snappy second. Cassie sets him up with a perfect... Oh, they would have won the round. They would have set a, yeah. They would have set the high score for this one, for this NFR. Man, that's costly right there for Cassie Mallory. There's Wenda Johnson. Wenda Johnson, she's back on Mo. Mo has been such a solid horse for her. She really had to step up whenever she lost her great horse, Mac, this summer. And Mo has done that for her. Solid first barrel. They really need to pull the check. They want to finish their finish off their NFR strong. Wenda Johnson, good spot, right? Oh, no. Man, and they were in good position for that third barrel, and the ground just did not hold them up for that. Well, it's been that kind of a 10 days for Wenda Johnson. Right, you can see Mo really went to get on his hind end, come around, and the ground just didn't hold them up. Oh, that's disappointing. And this has been such an incredible team for so many years. Five trips to the NFR, Mama Five, and this horse Missy has been her sole horse for so, so long. She won WPRA horse with the most heart. They passed a million dollars in lifetime earnings, and this is why. Watch that third go really quick, really close. That was snappy. Great yeah, run. She's laying down the run right there. 
It's going to be second best. Lockhart still has the lead at 13.54. Summer Kozel getting ready. She won round five. She was fast, 13.42. A couple of spots out of the average coming in, but she's won almost $89,000 in nine rounds. Yeah, talk about a great first trip to your NFR. And if they can clock that 13.42 or faster, they're just going to take the lead by quite a bit. But Apollo, he's been great. This is not an easy setup, especially when you have to make 10 runs in a tight, small arena. They went a little bit by their first, more than they have in other rounds. Could cost them a little time, but they made up for it with that quick second barrel and a nice third. What a way to finish off their first in a Clock says 13.59. That's second best. Five one hundredths of a second behind Lisa Lockhart. So you got a 13.54, 13.59. Here comes Alyssa Riley. Alyssa Riley has had such an incredible season all of 2023. <clears throat> They've dominated all summer long. This horse that she's on tonight, she's back on money. This horse was trained in Futurity by Cassie Mowry. So he's really, really awesome. She did so well on this horse in the winter run. Alyssa, it hasn't been the first, the best trip she wanted for her first in FR, but I think money is the horse for her to get it done on, and that's why. Great first barrel. Maybe a little bit wide on their second, but they're picking it up here in the third. Really solid run for Alyssa to end her first in FR. 13.79, that's going to be fourth best. <laughs> Sissy wins, she won the first round, 13.71. She won round four, 13.50. 120,000 for her. She's climbed from 11th in the world all the way up to number six. Not a factor in the average. Yeah, Sissy Wynn, she's having so much fun at this year's NFR. Scoop has been so incredible for her. Top of the ground, bottom of the ground, they can handle it, especially with how correct and well Sissy is running this horse around each and every barrel. They've maybe had a bit of a pocket, more pocket than they wanted there at the third. I don't know if Scoop was looking at something. Still decently fast. 1381, that's going to be fifth best. Lockhart still has the lead at 1354. Stevie Hillman, one round two. Not a factor in the average. She's eighth in the world. Yeah, you know, when you're not thinking about the average and you come in here on a horse like Sandy, Stevie, she's such a veteran. She's going to come in here and try to lay down the fastest run she possibly can. She's going for that round win, and this horse is so, so bad. And the thing is, Stevie's having to ride more and more aggressively each round, so that way Sandy doesn't cut in. She's doing her job. Can you turn it up a little bit? Missed that third barrel a little bit, but it's perfect. 1385. Well, that's sixth place right now, so she is the cowgirl on the bubble. Pays six places each round. Haley Kinzel rattled off four world championships in five years. She and sister have been uh, an unstoppable force at Thomas and Mac until this year. Hasn't quite been the way they like it to be, but man, they have quite a resume here. They are a team for the history books, always. What an awesome team. They got a fourth place check last night. They fixed the timing on that first barrel last night as well. Looked pretty good here tonight. And a really nice close second barrel. I think they're maybe going to pull a check tonight if they can keep this up. You know, sister can run home with the best of them. What she does here, 1367. That's third place right now for Haley Kinzel. There's Sue Smith. See, it's her third trip to the National Finals Rodeo. First time was back in 2009, came in 2011, and finally makes it back in 2023. And guys, I've been so impressed by Sue Smith and this young horse she calls Hep this year. This is not an easy setup for a young horse. We've talked about this with other runners that are going. And Hep, he has handled the situation. They pulled a few checks. They've been solid. She's made different horse changes. A little bit of a timing issue with that first barrel. Maybe went by it slightly. But Sue Smith, she's one of the greatest trainers in the business. An absolute legend in rail racing. She can help any horse through any setup. Solid run. Lines up at the time at 1397. You're going to be just out of the money. Getting closer to Brittany Posey Tanazi. Paige Jones, then Brittany. For Paige, her first NFR, $70,000 in the bank, number five in the average. Let's see if she can finish it off right here. I've been so impressed by how well Paige Jones has handled her first trip to the NFR. She truly is riding like a veteran here in the Thomas and Mac. They placed in five out of nine rounds. Let's see if they can make it number 10. And they're off to a good start. She's having to be so aggressive to make sure Bazinga doesn't cut in a little early. Another clean run. Great first trip to the NFR for Paige Jones in this horse box. Yeah, pretty round. 
1376, that's fifth place right now. Alyssa Riley bumps to number six. Lockhart still has the lead at 1354. And here comes Brittany Posey Tanazi. Number one in the average, number one in the world. She's won 162,000. Can she get over that half million dollar mark? We're about to find out. Things are all looking her way for Brittany Posey Tanazi. She needs to be faster than a 1417 to break the NMR average record. I think that's going to be a piece of cake if we can stay clean. You spoke too soon. Yes, it does. 13.52. They'll tack on five. You spoke too soon. That would have taken the lead in the round, by the way. Wow, and it was it was close, Benny. He just came in to turn. He came in to do his job and just got a little bit close, shouldered it on the inside. That was not what they were expecting, but that opens the door in terms of the average. Jordan Briggs, she holds the 2021 NFR average record. She can break her own average right now as she gets ready to go up on Rolo. Yeah, Lisa Lockhart, by the way, right now is number one in the average and number one in the round. Great first barrel for Jordan Briggs. Oh, no! Oh. Wow, Lisa Lockhart, incredible. That was not how Jordan Briggs wanted to finish the 10th round. You never know what can happen in barrel racing. Well, you don't. So Jordan Briggs hits a barrel. Pretty oh. Posey Tanazi hits a barrel. Yeah, that's an $80,000 barrel. It's already a $50,000 barrel for Jordan. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Emily Beisel will be the last cowgirl to go. Emily Beisel, she's going to finish this out on Chongo. They have won countless rounds here inside the Thomas and Mac. They've hit barrels, but they can fix it. And, man, did Emily Beisel have to ride Chongo around that. Oh, the last three girls, man. Keep it up. Man, Lisa Lockhart so gets the final round but win. How exciting was tonight in terms of that average race. Boy, three down barrels at the, the final three runs. And two of them were costly. There's that. Oh, left. she tried. She, she really did score. try. Shoulder catches that barrel. And the results, Lisa Lockhart. She's going to win the round for the time of 13.54. And she's going to win the average of the arena run of the night. It was a, a nice little bonus there for Lisa Lockhart. Yeah. Your all-time money earner in the WPRA. She wins an average title. She wins the round. What a store book win for Lisa Lockhart to finish this year. Yeah, another $110,000 for that figure. Awesome. $110,000 round. That's, 10. Lisa Lockhart. That's a great wins way to book the regular season. Yep. Uh, Brittany Posey Tanazi. She still wins the world championship, though, and a record-setting year for her. And there is Brittany, world championship number three. She won in 07, 09, and now 2023. 20, Congratulations, Brittany.